but hey guys, welcome. Toho Tuesday has just made a return, and I welcome you guys. I am just on a Cheerio stage. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm just starting off and uh, trying to do a fresh run just to see how far I get. Get you know, get the rust off me for now, you know. So we're, we're gonna try out Cheerio now. Here she comes. But like I was trying to say before, it's been a while since I played some Toho. I have my reasons for that. Basically, this year, I got very into Dance Dance Revolution. Very into Dance Dance Revolution. I love the game so much. Um, but, you know, I do miss playing Toho. It just got kind of hard. Oh, I could have had that. Damn it. Uh, yeah, I, I still have one credit for this game. So basically, rhythm games are my main passion, and right now, I'm trying to spread it around. Like, I love doing these tournaments, I love bringing people together, and I really want people to discover the joy of rhythm games. Because it's just a forgotten genre, and it's a really cool thing to play and to watch, to be honest. So lately, that's been my main goal lately, is focusing very much on that. And, uh, you know, it's... Rhythm Games is something I've been very passionate about for a lot of my life now. Ever, you know, ever since 2001, on my birthday, I went to Six Flags Great Adventure, and I first played DDR, and I, I just fell in love with the game so much. After I first played DDR there, I had to go and get a PlayStation like the next day. I swear, like the next day. But I didn't have a PS2 or PS1 at the time, so I said, all right, let's do this. We got the, you know, US PS1 version of DDR. So I went out and got PS2, and I got Gran Turismo, and I got the PlayStation 1 DDR. Came with that little cheap dance mat. Started playing it a lot. I had a really good time with the, with the uh, rhythm game community back in the early 2000s in both New York and Maryland. It was a lot of fun back then. It was a very different feeling. Uh, but, you know, it's I was really shy back then, so it was a little bit more difficult for me. To really get into it. I also had low self-esteem, so I never really tried to get too great at the game. I didn't think I, I didn't have the confidence to get really good at the game. I just wasn't really so great at it. But I know uh, now I've been really trying to improve myself on it. So for a while I took a break out of rhythm games. And then I kinda got back into it in 2016. I found an in the groove machine not so far from me. And uh I started playing over there, and that's where I met my good friend Rob for the first time. I don't know, Pack Rob in DDR, and it, it you know, it, he's been a really good friend for quite a while. One of my first, like, newer friends I made, and I'm uh, really glad to uh, make friends with him. Him and I have, like, been around to a lot of different places, you know? We went to a lot of different places together. Like, yeah, there. So after that, I knew about DDR Ace. I knew it was out in Japan. I didn't think they can get it in the US. I thought, oh, Konami gave up on you know DDR in the US, you know. But little big nice surprise, they're gonna have it at Dave and Buster's. So I said, okay, man, now is the time to get back into the rhythm games. Now is the time. So I went to a local convention called Castle Point Anime Convention in New Jersey. And I had a really good time there. I, I did my first DDR tournament. It was the first one in a long time. I don't think I could participate in other ones before because I was too sucky at it back then. I was like, ah, whatever, I'll just do it. I, you know, it's not good. And I did. And that's actually where I uh, first found out about Toho. Well, not really found out about Toho. Like, I first discovered Bad Apple, right? So let me tell you about Toho, my history with Toho here. Thanks for the host, Timmy. Uh, my history with Toho, I was really into Japanese shoot-em-ups back in those early 2000s, like uh, Dojin shoot-em-ups and like the other ones that would come out. And I did play Toho 6 and 7 when they were kind of new and relevant, but like, back then, there was no fandom for Toho. People didn't really care about Toho back then. You know, I, I was... Okay, it's just like another free shoot-em-up game, alright, but I'm not really into it. I like Cave Shooters a lot better than this, you know? I like Cave Shooters a lot better than this. Timmy, if you're gonna have to like this. You gotta, climb, you gotta calm down, Timmy. You 
get the drum down. But yeah, I just started getting into Toho back then. Oh, so this is what happened. Like, I was just into shoot 'em up. I didn't take Toho very seriously when I first was into shoot 'em up and stuff. And, uh. I know, it's just like, oh, just another free shoot 'em up, you know? So uh, for a long time, I forgot about it. Then, like, DDR, I started getting very into DDR. And it was all these Toho songs in DDR. All these Toho songs in DDR. So, I mean, I still didn't play at the time. What turned me around is, uh, I met my friend's girlfriend once, and she's, like, really big into DDR. I mean, really big into Toho. Like, she's a big shoot 'em up person. Really into all the cool shooters, and we were talking about it, and, you know, ranting about it. And she started talking about Toho, and, uh, how much she loves it. You know, she's been playing that, you know, she's been a little bit younger than she was playing since she was, like, a kid and stuff. And... I, I said, you know what? Maybe I'll finally give Toho a try. I, I'll finally give this game a try. Cause I keep seeing it everywhere. I, the music sounds really good from DDR and stuff, so I'll give it a shot. And lo and behold, I really, uh, I really fell for the game. You know, I discovered really a Scarlet, and uh, I really love vampires a lot. I like her character design. I just think she's so cool. And, uh, you know, I started to try to one credit clear the game. It's just that this game is so hard, and I tried for about, like, nine months to try to one credit clear, maybe ten or eleven months. It just wasn't happening, and, uh, and what happened in the winter is, like, you know, I feel like I started to gain too much weight, right? So I said, I'm gonna really try and focus more on Dance Dance Revolution, and I started doing that, like, every weekday, so that's kind of why I've been away from Toho for so long. So it does feel good to be back in the game. Ooh, so this is intense, like, this is really intense. I will say, though, I'm not doing terrible for coming back to the game after being gone for so long. I'm not doing terribly. Uh, what, let's look at the this day, just the way it starts to get tricky. Ah, oh, thanks, Mike, for the host. Appreciate it, dude. My good buddy, Mike. Ooh, this is intense. Oh, yeah, I forgot to, like, look at the points more in this game. Like, those blue ones are the points. The red ones are the power up, so I'm at max power at the moment. So, like, you can see, like, my spread is really big, right? Oh, man, Mike. Well, good luck with the babysitting, dude. It's glad to have you with us. Okay, here comes some of that chaos. It's slow cast. It looks intimidating, but these bulls move really slow. So, here comes the mini boss, Koakuma. She doesn't really have a name, but people call her Koakuma basically, like, Little Devil. Uh, she's got a good fan following. I'm actually a fan of her, too. I think she's really cute. Oh, thanks a lot for the follow, Cosmo, so I do appreciate it. Oh my god, I missed a bomb. I missed a bomb. But yeah, thanks for coming to the stream, guys. Oh yeah, that's why I can do that again. Oh my god, I'm so rusty. I forgot all about these different maneuvers I can do, you know? I will say, yeah, this game is really hard, but it, you know, it can be very fun, too. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Pardon language, I do tend to swear in this game a lot because it can be pretty frustrating. You know, but I really do enjoy it. It's a very fun game. It's something I can keep on coming back to and having a good time with. So we're in Patchouli's library right now, and we're gonna be getting to her in just a moment. So these white ones, you blow them up and it sucks in all the bullets around them. You see that? Look at that. Isn't that cool? There's gonna be another one. We love the white one. We're back to the We're trying to like dodge everything and just suck up everything. I, you know, I'm really trying for survival. I'm trying to get through the game. That's my main goal right now. I kind of know the patterns of where stuff's going to be coming, for the most part. But it still gets a little chaotic around here. Still gets a little chaotic. Oh, like right over here. See if I can, like, dodge this shit. No, I got trapped. I got trapped. But hey, extra life, dudes. Extra life, my dudes. Yeah, it's okay, Timmy. Glad to have you here. It's pretty quiet in my stream today. I, you know, Mike just stopped in. Uh, and now I'm just like, you know, renting about 
Toho and Rhythm Games, you know, shooting, shooting the breeze right now. Earlier though, I was very frustrated. I was actually streaming for like five or ten minutes, and I realized I was just recording. I actually wasn't live. That was very frustrating. All right, guys. So now we got Patchouli over here. So depending on what character or bullet configuration you have, she casts different spells on you. And it's always going to be like, I think like two elements, the main elements of her, like whatever it is, uh, later on. Like, something's against it, something's aren't. And I will say there's one freaking pattern that's very hard for me. Oh my god, I'm out of bombs. Yo, Ryosuke, I can't really read. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I'm glad to be back with, uh, with doing Toho again, man. It feels, feels good. But it's also feeling hot. This fucking spell, man. This fucking... God damn it all. That one is just... A uh, burying lake is really hard, guys. It's really hard. It's just like... It gets to a point where it's just impossible to dodge it sometimes. You either get lucky or you don't, you know? Very difficult. Very difficult spell to get through. That's probably her hardest spell to get through, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm actually a fan of it, truly. I mean, I like all the characters in the Scarlet Devil Mansion. Oh, dude, you went to David Mother to play some DDR? Oh, man, now that's a good time. Tell me, how how did you like your DDR session? What did you play? What levels are you getting up to? How, you have a good time over there? You find any songs you really enjoy? They keep on adding new songs all the time, and I'll tell you what, I'm really happy that they keep on adding, like, all these hardstyle songs. Like, I really, really love hardstyle a lot. Yeah, man, DDR Ace, Ace is so good. I was actually just talking about it a bit, like, DDR Ace kind of got me into Toho. Like, all the music, all the Toho music, and they're like, alright, I'm gonna finally try this game after I talk to my friend, because the music is so good. I got convinced to start giving this series a, a real, a real honest try. And it, it does feel good to get back to this. Oh yeah, there's some, a lot of songs in Japanese, uh, but you can kind of look it up online and figure out what they are later on. If you go to this website, Remy Wiki, you can find out a lot about the different songs on there. Uh, R E M Y W I K I. Uh, it tells you all about uh, uh, the money game songs. So definitely worth checking out that website when you get a chance. All right, guys. Looks like we survived and we made it past Patchouli, and we're going on to uh, Safia's stage. Yeah. So if you uh, did Night of Knives, that's her song in DDR. She got the song Night of Knives. Oh. And, uh, my girl Amelia, she's got Scarlet Moon in DDR Ace. Very good song. I think some of those might be in the 2014 DDR folder, you know. But yeah, if you're, if you gotta play DDR often, like, keep going and giving them support. We want to show these Konami, yo, we love DDR over here in the U.S. Keep it coming for us. Rhythm games are a lot of fun, man. They're a lot of fun. I never beat Amelia on one credit. I beat Amelia plenty of times, but with continuing. Like, with one credit, man, forget it. I, I I can get to her in one credit, but I can't beat her in one credit. It's just so hard getting through all her phases. And look at this, like, I'm freaking down to one life on Sakia's stage. You know, this isn't going so hard at the moment. Fuck, look at that, I have to, like, bomb because I'm going to die. And here she comes. So, she's actually, the, the mid-boss part isn't too hard. You gotta kind of maneuver and dodge through this shit. Like, but it's been a while, so I'm a little bit rusty, guys. Like, I'm really, really freaking rusty. Like, if I can just get past this phase, it gets a little bit easier. Like, I'll show you, the next phase is like super, super trivial. Like, this one... Oh man, I'm just like really sloppy right now. A one credit clear someday. Okay, so watch this. She goes left, you go right, 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 you go right. Now she's gonna go right. You go left, 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 left. And right, 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 right. And then you go left, 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 left. And then right, right. And look at that. You can take care of that. Oh man, I plans for the league. So unfortunately, I kind of uh, have a, a knee injury, a very, very minor pain in my knee. So I'm, I'm hanging back from DDR right now. I'm not doing DDR at the moment. I'm going to take a break from DDR this week. I'm not going to do DDR this week, but what I am going to do is, uh, I'm going to go to Matt's place tomorrow. I might do some streaming, maybe more Toho, but I have, uh, I'm planning out the tournaments for the future now, my DDR tournaments in, uh, in New York. So, we got a meeting with my team, and I'm going to do, like, a voice call meeting on that. 
So this week's a little bit busier than usual, right? And um, so I'm going to talk about that, work on my stream. And uh, on Thursday, I'm going to a friend's party, a barbecue, a very nice, you know, summer barbecue. Well, that should be fun. You know, I don't know if you're anywhere in New York, but if you can get to New York, get over here. Come join with my tournaments. I'm going to be doing tournaments like every three or four months, I swear, because I really enjoy doing it. I enjoy bringing people together to have fun with these games. So, the next tournament I'm going to have is going to be Dance Dance Revolution. That's the main game. We're also going to pump it up, at, which as you know is like the Korean version of DDR, you know, Korean kind of DDR. A little bit different, it has combo based scoring instead of like, pure like, um, accuracy scoring. Very popular in this area, you know. Oh, well, uh, so the winner, they got, got some, some money, I kind of forgot how much exactly money they got. And, uh, he also got a, a poster from Emu, and, uh, you know, you gotta check out her shop because she's got some really cool stuff. Like, if you're into rhythm games, or even if you're into, uh, Fate Go, she's got a lot of cool merchandise. And she's a friend of mine, too. Like, I really like her a lot. She's a very cool person. She's really big into rhythm games and anime and all this stuff. And she does very good original artwork, and she sells it. She sells it on, like, t-shirts and all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, it's like a piece. Alright guys, so I'm gonna keep continuing, you know, just so I can get used to the game again. Yeah, so, I got a lot of games. So yeah, DDR and Pump It Up. In addition to this, we're gonna also do, probably, uh, Sound Voltex, a very popular, Beat Mania 2DX. And really guys, what I'm seeing is like, Group Coaster, which just came out for Steam. It's very popular. I did a poll in my tournament thing, and like a lot of people want to play Group Coaster, including me. I love Group Coaster. I didn't realize there's that many fans of the game around. And if you haven't tried it, it's free on your mobile phone. You can also get Group Coaster on your on your Steam computer. And if you're a Toho fan, there's actually a lot of Toho songs on on Group Coaster. It's really, really a fun, really fun rhythm game. I highly recommend this one. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. Yo, this is a lot of knives, isn't it, guys? Like, I'm gonna die. I'm not I'll die. Yo, I'm not. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Holy shit, guys! Fuck. I'm not doing boss fights. I'm doing just a regular game right now. Yeah, I lost my first credit in stage four. That's what I did too. I just lost it against Saki over here. You're about the same uh, uh, same skill as me at the moment. I mean, I can lose it. I, I mean, I've actually got to Vermilier on one credit. But, like, maybe, like, two phases of her, because fucking shit, man, she's really hard. So many phases are really hard, very difficult, you know? Very difficult. But, you know, this game is fun, it's just about practice, having a good time. But yeah, like seriously, if you can't get to New York, you gotta check out my stream. We're gonna do a live stream of DDR. I got a lot of people coming down to my tournament this time. Like, I got people that are gonna be coming in from Boston, Massachusetts. And last time, we had uh, eight guys coming in from Virginia Beach. Eight guys and girls coming from Virginia Beach. It was amazing. I was blown away. I was just blown away. People came from that far away to come compete. I didn't think that was gonna happen, you know? I, I do. I got some. Re I got some serious respect right now. Oh, and uh, I am adding some more emotes to. Uh, I'm adding some more emotes to my Frank of Face Z. They're not approved yet, I don't think, but uh, they are coming in. You know, like, what do I have right now? I'll show you if I, what I have at the moment. You know, did these come in yet, man? Well, I got this one. It's a cool one. I was actually gonna show up my thing. Oh man, check that out, guys. And then, like, you know, man. I got a bunch of stuff over here, guys. We're just gonna spam you all. Oh, dude, don't, no spoilers. Like, I haven't seen the new season yet. I'm gonna, I'm not sure if I'm gonna watch it dubbed or subbed. You know, I'm not gonna sure if I'm gonna watch the series dubbed or subbed. I know it's out. I might watch, wait for the dubs. I'm not sure if dubs are coming out in this summer or not. If they're not, I'm just going to watch the subtitles. But yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I'm super excited to see it. 
Uh, one thing I am watching right now is I'm start. I, I'm a. I actually been watching Overlord. I'm, I'm trying to catch up to watch season three of Overlord. I saw this new show called Island, which is a really weird mystery anime. I don't know what's going on with it at all. I'm kind of intrigued. I don't know what, what the hell's going on inside of the, the anime Island, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Yo, uh, Overlord. I, I just finished uh, season one of Overlord today. And I really like it a lot, you know, I played a lot of World of Warcraft in my day. Hey, you know, I can feel the similarities in there. Feels like a lot of like World of Warcraft. And yo, Wolfmeister, how you doing, dude? How are you? Sure. Good to see you. Have a good to see you. Oh, man. Well, here we are. I'm up against my girl Amelia at the moment. Uh, why do you have an anxiety attack, dude? Yeah, you gotta just chill. Honestly, like, I'm very tired, and I'm- Fuck! Doing this! I'm not anxious, like, I'm just doing Toho for the hell of it. Like... It's very niche doing Toho. Like, well, I'm- Honestly, Timmy, if you stream, you got more of an audience than I do. As you can see, like, I got my good loyal buddies over here, like you guys. But I don't usually get more than, like, like five people watching my Toho. This is actually a lot of people having Toho right now. I haven't fooled you guys in here. I do appreciate you all being here. When's me Amelia coming back? Yo, uh, Otakon. So, I'm going to Otakon, and that's in a few weeks, and I plan to do my man Amelia costume there. Although it's gonna be blazing freaking hot, it's probably a bad idea. I'll probably be dying. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Actually, I might do a man Amelia in a swimsuit. Uh, when I go to Colossal Con East in Pennsylvania, because that's like a that's like a uh, beach convention kind of thing, you know what I mean? So I might do that, wear a wig or something, put the wings on, have a grand old time, maybe find some kind of cute cosplay girl. Who knows? Probably not gonna happen, but hey, a man could dream, right? What'd you say, Mari Maki one? Maki is great, Summer Girl. I'm actually surprised Maki is that popular. Uh, she didn't think she was that popular, to be honest. I thought it was like Nico 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 would be more popular, and I thought like with the Japanese, they probably like Mumi more, you know? I, I don't know. I didn't think, I think Maki, I would thought it would be more like Americans would like Maki, you know what I mean? Like, I love Maki. But then again, I usually like Red Academy, I just like how she is anyway. I just like how she is anyway, I just think she's a cool character. I, I think, uh, as far as Sunshine's concerned, though, I would say, uh, I still, you know, Yohani is my girl. She's still, like, number one summer girl. Although, to be honest, it should be probably Mari for best summer girl. Like, when I think about summer, I really think about Mari for summer. Just because, I don't know, she seems like a beach-going blonde girl. You know what I mean? She seems more like a beach girl than the other one. Uh, Kanan, she's just a scuba diver, so I don't associate that with summer. God fucking damn this game. <laughs> oh. Actually, a Kotori is very popular character still. It's very popular. Well, like, the thing is, when it comes to Love Life characters, at least with Muse, there's none I don't really like. I will say with the Sunshine Girls, it's iffy. Like, I'm so so on Sunshine. And to be honest, I, I didn't even log in for Nico Nico Nee's birthday on, on Love Life. Like, I'm not even playing the game, really. It's just, like, I had enough, I guess. You know what I mean? I just don't feel like playing phone games these days. Like, I don't have, I don't feel like I feel like doing a phone game. So basically what I do in my free time is I go for a little walk on the walking path and I watch some anime on my phone. That's what I do in my free time these days. So what about you guys? You guys are uh, watching any new summer anime? I know uh, Ryosuke here is watching a new Attack on Titan. You guys watch, checking out any new, new sum, summer anime series? What about you, Wolfmeister, Timmy? You guys watching any new anime lately? Oh, I'm just, like, I work continues, though. That doesn't count. Like, I cheated. Like, I'm using continues in a bunch of lives, you know what I mean? That's, like, not the same as a one credit clear. Like, bad ending, you know? Thanks. I, yeah. Well, you know what? To be honest, I haven't played this game in a while, so, so getting through it on one credit, that's not such a bad thing, right? That's decent. Uh... Yo, I'm gonna be back in just a second. I gotta use the restroom real quick, and I need water because I'm dehydrated. So I'll be right back. Watch the ending credits. Keep yourselves entertained. Okay, I'll be right back. Like, man, if I was still dating Yuki, 
I make her like entertain the chat with uh, with her Yuki time, whatever the hell she used to do. It was so funny, man. I miss those days. Honestly, I miss being with her too, cause she she was she was a good girlfriend. She was a good girlfriend. Yeah, thanks a lot. I mean, actually, I didn't do too bad because like I didn't use that many continues to get through it. So I don't know. I might do some practice, um, some boss rush practice right now. Oh my god, my 